Beethoven is still regarded as one of the most admired composers in Western music history. His works are among the most frequently performed in the classical music repertoire, spanning the transition from the classical to the romantic periods in classical music. His career has been traditionally divided into three parts, early, middle, and late. His formative years, during which he honed his craft, are generally thought to have lasted until 1802. His middle period, from 1802 to around 1812, exhibited an individual development from the styles of Joseph Haydn and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and is sometimes characterized as heroic. During this time, he began to lose his hearing. From 1812 to 1827, he expanded on his innovations in musical form and expression. Beethoven was born in the city of Bonn. His musical talent was evident from a young age. Johann van Beethoven, his father, initially brutally and intensively taught him. Beethoven was later mentored by composer and conductor Christian Gottlieb Niffy, under whom he published his first work, A Set of Keyboard Variations, in 1783. He found solace from a dysfunctional home life with Helene von Brenning's family, whose children he loved, befriended, and taught piano to. At the age of 21, he moved to Vienna, which became his home, and studied composition with Haydn. Beethoven then established a reputation as a virtuoso pianist, and he was soon commissioned for compositions by Karl Alois, Prince Lichnowsky, which resulted in his three Opus 1 piano trios, the earliest works to which he assigned an opus number, in 1795. The first symphony, his first major orchestral work, was premiered in 1800, and his first set of string quartets was published in 1801. Despite his hearing deterioration during this time, he continued to conduct, premiering his third and fifth symphonies in 1804 and 1808. His violin concerto appeared in 1806. His last piano concerto, No. 5, Opus 73, known as The Emperor, dedicated to his frequent patron Archduke Rudolf of Austria, was premiered in 1811, without Beethoven as soloist. By 1814, he was almost completely deaf, and he stopped performing and appearing in public. In two letters, his Heiligenstadt Testament, 1802, to his brothers and an unsent love letter to an unknown immortal beloved, he described his health problems and unfulfilled personal life, 1812. Beethoven composed many of his most admired works after 1810, when he was becoming less socially involved, including later symphonies, mature chamber music, and the late piano sonatas. Fidelio, his only opera, was first performed in 1805 and revised to its final version in 1814. Between 1819 and 1823, he wrote Mrs. Solemnis and his final symphony No. 9 between 1822 and 1824, one of the first examples of a choral symphony. His late string quartets, including the Grosse Fugue, written in his final years, are among his final achievements. He died in 1827, after being bedridden for several months. Beethoven's works are still popular in the classical music repertoire. Please subscribe and click the notification bell for future videos. Thank you for watching.